Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I'm just editing some footage here for my dad's channel, Lone Valley Adventures. We started that one up about a month ago. We've got a few videos out and we've got a ton of footage to go through here. And what I'm noticing is a fair amount of his footage is not that great. It's pretty shaky. The camera he's using has no electronic image stabilization, which means if the camera's not stationary, the, the footage is pretty shaky. So I use this video uh, editing software called VSDC. I use the pro version, which is about $20 a year. And it actually has the option to stabilize your footage. So I gave it a shot here for the first time. And I'm actually quite impressed with how it turned out. So I figured this actually would be good to share on my channel here. And what we're going to look at here is just sections of a, a quad uh, ride that my dad had out at the property there. And we're going to see that... Uh, the raw footage, not looking too great, but the stabilized footage, quite a bit better. So why don't we uh, just look at that right now, and uh, let's see let's see how it looks. You can judge for yourself. So here, we're going to start with some of the raw footage. And you can see here, it's just, it's all right, but it's definitely, in my opinion, not usable. Very shaky. It's just, it's hard to focus, right, with the amount of shaking there. And that, that's disappointing because this is actually a great spot to, to take a video. It's actually down in the meadow here, a road he put in himself on his uh, off-grid property. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to see if uh, the stabilization uh, option on my uh, software works. And it does. Like Here it is, the same footage, but we stabilized it this time. We have put it through the, the program and so much better. Yeah, it's still a bit shaky, but now... I, I would be all right to uh, release this footage. And we're going to go through a few more examples here. And you'll get a little bit better idea. We're actually going to look at it side by side because it, it is still, honestly, a bit shaky still, but nowhere near. So there they are side by side right now. And you can just see the difference. See, see the amount of movement on the left side of the screen there on the raw footage. It's just, honestly, it's night and day. Like that, uh, that stabilization option works great. So I've got a few more uh, few more clips here coming up after this one, just to give you a little bit more better idea of how it actually looks. And if you want to see how it works, I can definitely uh, review that in another video. So here, just a little bit further in the in the quad ride now, coming up the back road, and here's the raw footage again. So you can see how shaky it is with the fast uh, head turns. He's uh, wearing uh, his camera, obviously, on his on his hat right now. And just the camera really just can't keep up to the, the rapid movements of his head when he turns left to right. And here's the stabilized version of that. So, so much better. And you'll see it side by side here again in a moment. Where you'll be able to actually compare the raw footage to the stabilized footage. So, and I'm finding a lot of uh, his videos that uh, he's handed over to me to edit are somewhat like this, where we've got some poor, uh, some poor footage due to stabilization. Now, there you go, left side raw footage, right side stabilized footage, and it's clear. Like, look at the amount of movement on the raw footage compared to the stabilized footage. Definitely usable footage now. Now. Another reason why I wanted to uh, make this video is not everybody can afford a GoPro or a, a DJI Osmo action cam or an Insta360, you know, hundreds of dollars there. And not everybody can afford that, but they can afford a cheap action camera and can probably afford a $20 subscription to this software, which uh, in the end, I think the footage is, is definitely usable. So here is the raw footage just coming into the, to where the cabin is here in the main part of the property. And we're going to see again, here's the stabilized footage, same clip, just stabilized. And you can just see with the rapid head movement, looking left to right, it's so much better. And then we'll wrap this one up by having a look at the raw footage and the stabilized footage side by side. Definitely a lot better. 
So here we go, we're gonna run into, uh, here we go. Raw footage on the left, stabilized footage on the right. And you can just see the amount of movement is greatly reduced. So I think for, you know, something like this where you're on the quad on your ATV dirt bike, this is definitely gonna make a big difference if you don't have a higher end camera that has the built-in electronic image, image stabilization. So guys, that's it. We're gonna get ready to wrap this one up now. Just wanted to give you a look how I'm able to stabilize uh, video footage with VSDC Pro. I, uh, I think it worked great. First time I've used it, very happy with it. I'm glad I could share it with you guys. I have no affiliation with VSDC. I'm a user, I pay for my yearly subscription, which is $20, right around there. And that's just a great option to have with the Pro version. Like I said, if you're using a cheaper camera that maybe doesn't have electronic image stabilization or may, it claims it might and it still doesn't really produce great footage, this might be an option for you if you're not in the market to buy a higher end camera. But for right now, guys, let's leave it at that. Check out my dad's channel, Lone Valley Adventures. Appreciate him sending over the footage for me to uh, mess around with. And if you like this video, make sure you have a big thumbs up new to the channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out. And remember, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya!